I got really into hip hop when I was a kid. Um, because uh, I grew up like in the middle of nowhere, a town of like 1,800 people with like a blinking light and a Dairy Queen. I had like a couple of early experiences. One was that a friend of mine had this tape called Monsters of Rap that had a uh, public enemy on it. And there was that Rebel Without a Pause with the <laughs> sound on it. And I was like, that is the craziest sounding thing that I've ever heard. Like whatever this is, it's the most extreme and most awesome form of music. And then the other one was I was at a church lock-in and these teenagers picked me up to take me to the church lock-in and they were listening to the Beastie Boys. And I don't know these teenagers and I don't think we had ever met. I don't know who they were, but they were just playing it and it was so loud and it sounded so insane to me. So I would like learn the raps and then rap them on the bus for 25 cents, like I would charge people. And when I started doing the Champagne Jerry thing, we started talking about doing, you know, a rap together. You know, just kind of like joking around because I wasn't really sure if he would actually do it. You know, one night he sent me his verse, you know, over the, the magic of the internet. And uh, yeah, and so then we, we made the song and everything, but it was super exciting for me. I actually moved to New York and was like, oh, I'm going to do all of these things. You know, I was kind of just messing around. I was like, oh, I'm going to make a record with, with Kathleen Hanna and I'm going to do this stuff with Adam and I'm going to do all this stuff. And, um, and then, you know, now I've done it. So I got to get some new dreams. Oh, the weirdest job I've ever had was, uh, I was, I worked in a roller rink, um, but in off hours, so they were closed, but I worked and just sprayed disinfectant in the shoes. So I did that every day for a couple of hours. And that was kinda, it was good, it was training. <laughs> I got the name Champagne Jerry, cause Jerry is my first name. And I was at a party one time and they were running out of uh, booze in the cooler and there was a bottle of champagne in there. And so I was just walking around the party drinking the bottle of champagne. And, you know, after about an hour or so, uh, Champagne Jerry started to show up. My friend Bridget Everett is the one who gave me the name. And so since then, I've been Champagne Jerry. I want as many people to find out about Champagne Jerry as possible. I want to play as many shows as we can. You know, I just sort of, I guess the short answer is I, I want Champagne Jerry to just take over the world. That's basically it. You play too much. You play too much. You play too much. You play too much. You play too much.